Good morning, crafty people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa with Barnyard Chicken. And uh, this is uh, Cooking with the Barnyard Chicken. So um, today I'm going to make, take my broiler sheet that came in my toaster oven. And I'm going to line it with aluminum foil. And I'm, gonna I'm, gonna, I'm going to make bacon in the toaster oven. It's not perfect, but I have it well lined. This is unshiny. The unshiny side is the nonstick side. I just love these Reynolds Wrap products. This heavy duty nonstick aluminum foil and this um, grilling foil. It's actually the same foil. This is the grilling foil. I have the grilling foil on this pan because it's slightly bigger than uh, my other pans that go in the toaster oven. This will work, but I want full coverage. I'm making bacon, and um, like I said, both of these foils are the same. They're Reynolds Wrap non-stick foil. They're just in bigger size, and they call these grilling, grill. <laughs> so, <coughs> anyway, even if they weren't non-stick, which I can't imagine you not wanting on sick. It always makes it easier to clean. I just realized the dishwasher's on, so I'm sorry for that noise in the background. Okay, so I paused the um, dishwasher, and now I'm going to put my bacon on here and get it in the oven at, at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. The reason I cook it in the toaster oven is just so it, it doesn't make the house hot by turning on the oven. And I like to cook it in the toaster oven so that grease doesn't splatter all over the stove and the kitchen. Okay, so I have all my bacon lined up on my pan. I don't normally put this piece of bacon here, but I... There was only one piece left, so I just put it in there. And this is the pan I normally use, but I usually have to use two pans. See, it's, uh, it is slightly smaller than the other pan. This is, lo this looks exactly like a cookie sheet. It's just small enough to go in the toaster oven. It's perfect for the toaster oven. However, this pan came in the toaster oven, so I hardly ever use it, but, um, it's a great pan. Anyway, I will put this in the toaster oven and let it cook for 25 minutes at 425 degrees, give or take, depending on how the bacon looks as it's cooking. Sometimes you gotta turn it over and sometimes you don't. So, um, I'm gonna put it on the bottom rack. I have a pretty big toaster oven and um, you can cook a full-size pizza in the toaster oven. I, it's an Oster and um, it has confection on it and it's really big, super big. So I will put it on the bottom rack and then, yeah. Let it cook for 25 minutes, and I will see you back when it's done so you can see the final product. And one another reason, if I didn't mention, that I like cooking it in here is because the bacon comes out flat. It's not all rolly and curved. However, the hotter your pan, if your pan is too hot when you cook your bacon, the bacon curls up. So I always like to start my bacon in a cold skillet so that the bacon will cook flat. Anyway, while I, while breakfast is cooking, I'm going to catch up on my YouTube videos. I watch, I try to watch videos from everyone that I subscribe to every day. 
and there's so many that I subscribe to that I have to watch a lot of videos but when you are it, it's always best to watch the videos from the people you subscribe to because um, I don't know it makes their algorithms go down when you just subscribe to someone and never watch their videos. If you subscribe to someone and never watch their videos, it's bad for their channel. So I um, don't do that. I try to watch everyone I subscribe to. And um, I try to watch all their videos and their pop-up live videos when I can. Anyway, so I will be back when the bacon is done. I guess I should really start preparing to make the eggs, but I'm going to make me some tea. Got that loud, so I'm making my father-in-law a fried egg. He likes fried eggs. And uh, the bacon is almost done. I have four minutes and 20 seconds left. left. And I'm sorry, I got the dishwasher on again. Anyway, egg looks like it's doing really pretty, huh? Hard to do that, right? Anyway, let's turn off the dishwasher. So, <laughs> and I can't find a spatula crazy. I don't have all the burners on the stove because I was scrubbing the stove. I'm just not done. I had to cook. <laughs> the bacon is almost done. Sorry I went over five minutes. Got a minute and a half. I'm sure it doesn't help that I got the toaster open, but I just wanted you to see. It's really nice and pretty. Just have about five seconds left and the bacon will be ready. Yay, bacon! <laughs> And there you go, oven baked bacon. Okay, so all I gotta do is get it out of this grease real quick. There's actually not as much grease as when you fry it in a pan. It seems like the pan just gets full of grease. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the pan and uh, get it out of that grease. Okay, there's all my nice crispy bacon right out of the oven. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken, sending all my love and my hugs. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and leave comments below. Thank you.